Hello, everybody. It's Don Blanks from Real Jim and Keep Putting New Jersey with Henry Skiba, and this is Real Talk, Real Jim. <laughs> I love it, Donnie. When you say Real Talk, Real Jim, people listen because it's coming at you from the heart and it's coming at you real. Yeah. That's the only way we know how to do it here, right? I know. There's no BS. Let's talk a little bit. I, I, I told you before, I was just so impressed with your workout you did uh, the other week with the deadlift. And I can't wait to see that video when you do put it up. But uh, can you tell us a little something about it, what you did with your pin training? Yeah, I've been, I've been uh, you know, I, I took it back 30 years. You know, it's always been my secret weapon, but um, I've been pulling against the pins. And uh, oh, my phone just went off. Great. I've been pulling against the pins. You know, I always, that was always my secret weapon. Uh, isometric movements in between the pins. It's a lot of guys, I've seen a few, not too many, but I've seen a couple of guys in, uh, 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 using the pins, but not quite the way we use them. Right. And uh, what I do is to get to a sticking point. So like, say with the pulls, I'll start from the bottom range of the pull and I'll put a, I'll have, uh, I'll come from the ground to the first pin, pull into the pin, hold for five seconds, then release, pull for five seconds, then release. And I'll do about five uh, reps of that. Increase the uh, uh, weight, go from the next pin on top, set the bar, and put another pin in between. So I'm pulling from uh -huh. that level to the next pin. Isometric hold, five seconds, back down, and do about five reps there. Increase the weight, and then all the way up, all the way through, all the way to the top end. And usually when I get to the knees, I'll just pull, um, it depends, sometimes I'll pull uh, you know, right before lockout, hold right, uh, uh, you know, uh, right before lockout, or I'll just open all the way to lockout. And um, yes. last week I showed the end where I was just pulling open all the way up to uh, lockout. Now, let me ask you this. You change your rep scheme at all when you're coming up to the top? Or do you lessen the Yeah. The so, uh, and especially for video, you don't shoot every rep. But uh, majority of the time, I'll start with higher reps at the bottom and increase to a lower rep at our pyramid um, down. Our pyramid up and weight and down in reps. So usually singles when you're getting into heavier loads and to the top. So, that you, you know, it's, it, it, you're frying your central nervous system. So as the loads increase, you don't want to, you know, especially I'm a natural athlete, so I have to be careful not going over the top. And that's the one thing about pulling against the pins. I try to, now I only do it four times a year, which is crazy. You know, where a lot of, you can get addicted to it because you, you, you get so many gains from it. But being natural, you know, it'll put you in the opposite direction quick. You know, you're overtraining. <laughs> And okay, I, I understand the whole concept of it. I love it. I can't wait. I am psyched to go do it next week. But what do you think is the difference between that and pulling against a great deal of band tension? Because I, I know band tension will eventually give it at, at the top. But do you feel it's very similar? You kind of get the, you get better gains out of doing it this way, right? Uh, the, the, band, the, the difference is that bands. the band, you have to put right? The big blue bands, the incredible amount of tension. Uh, and and it's a uh, there's a downward force, so you know, mm -hmm. so there's an op opposite. You know, it's pulling against you, and uh, you know, it's pulling. It's a downward force pulling, and you're pulling against it. That's the difference. Where when it's isometric, it's just you pulling against an immovable force. So it's just an upward, not a downward pull against you. The weight, the load gives you the pull down, but it's not the same uh, as the bands. The bands is a little different. Throws up on me. Skeep, skeep, skeep. Hey, we got cut off for a little bit, but we're, now we're back. We got Ski back in the building. Back in the building. Talking about the, <laughs> talking about the training, uh, you know, the isometric training um, and, uh, you know, the static dynamic work that, uh, that I've been doing with the pins, you know, and the difference between that and the band tension. It's similar, but it's a little different, a different feel. Yeah. Well, I'm going to try your way. I've done, a, I like doing the bands. You know, with West Side, we do a lot of bands, but I like, we're going to do that. And I invite you sometime, we're going to do the work with the static dynamic piece sometime when I, I get a chance to bring you over. It's yeah, that's an amazing different. piece. Right. Yeah, it's, it's that's just, you know, right. Yeah. yeah, that's the pins to the next level. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean your pin, the, the pins, I mean, I just seen you pulling some of that weight. I said, man. I went to go try to pull this weekend. I said, I couldn't come anywhere near that, so I'm going to do what you do. <laughs> but it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's an uh, adaptation of what you guys taught me years ago, 30 years ago. 
You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And uh, it's, you know, I just uh, put my little spin to it over the years would work for me. And it was a way that I utilized to bring guys up to speed, especially like athletes when I was training with athletes and I had to get them up to speed really fast. I would have them pull against the pins or press against the pins or squat against the pins. And it would get them up, you know, it would take them to the next level really fast. You know what I mean? Now, do you do the same thing with the squat and bench too? Yep. Or similar? Yep. So I like it's that. Similar. I think you got to do a little book on that, Donnie. Let's get that out there, baby. No, I'm serious. I'm serious. Yeah, yeah. Because people love to try something. I always believe that, you know, the to find the newest thing out there, you got to look to the past. You, you got to go to the past. Up, and you brought it up to speed, man. So I'm willing to try it. My Even with your static dynamic. I took that. I freaked that one. That's That one's, whoo. I love that. You know what I mean? With the release button. Yep. Uh, well, we're both going to play with my brother. I can't wait till this passes so you and I can train together again. That's the way it's supposed yeah. to be. Yeah, oh. definitely, definitely. Full circle, you know. But what I'm else trying you to get back. What else you want to highlight, my brother? Well, you know, it's it's just um, you know, it's a new day and age, you know what I mean? And uh I, I I'm really impressed with uh how powerlifting is coming to the forefront of training, you know, the training industry right now. You know, it was bodybuilding for years. You right. know, and then, you know, with the advent of, of CrossFit, you know, which I was involved with early on, uh, you know, they got people back to picking up barbells again. And, uh, you know, Ollie lifts, of course, uh, you know, weightlifting, Olympic weightlifting is, is, is incredible. And, uh, you know, and now uh, powerlifting, you know, I mean, it's, it's really uh, become mainstream and I, and I dig it. You know, people are getting stronger. The young people are embracing it. The young ladies are embracing it. You know, it's not, you know, they don't want to be skinny anymore and, and weak. They want to be strong. They're, you know, the girls with the big thighs, you know, now they're rock and rolling. They're, they're proud of the asses, they're proud of the quads, they're proud of the thighs, they're proud of being strong and beautiful. And that's, that's the beauty of powerlifting. That's know? fantastic, Tony. Listen, here's Power what to the people. <laughs> I want to buy it to the people. I'm not going to put my arm up like you, but uh, uh, you have a little more meat on that bicep now. Um, the thing I was going to ask you about is I've always seen you do like different kind of jumping things, and you really do a lot with uh, uh, with that. I mean, your athletes are incredible, and you can still jump pretty good still, right? You can still do like a, uh, a tuck like you always do and all that stuff. Yeah. I, I, again, you know, being 51 – you know, there's a lot of wear and tear on my body. We used to tumble down the street on concrete. You know, I used to flip, you know, do uh, um, tons of backhand string tucks all the way down the street. All the kids that I grew up in the projects, that's all we did. You know, we would, you know, be walking down the street and just when the light turned red, we would flip across the street, you know, walk on our hands all day, all kinds of stuff like that. But yeah, I still do it uh, uh, periodically. So like if I'm getting ready for a competition or if I'm training hard, I can't, I won't tumble because, you know, it puts a lot of stress on the joints. But that athleticism, I, you know, the athleticism you built up in those in that that day is incredible. I had one student I remember as long as I live that he was a tiny little guy and he used to jump on top of the fence, do a handstand, then just do a backflip off the uh, off the fence. That would that takes some athleticism, man. Yeah, and it does. to build that up and it's still, oh man, I'll tell you something. That is why the Russians do so much of that before they get into ever touching the weight. Everything Look at people be right. athletic. You know, it's funny. I just uh, put a new clothing line up uh, uh, with the uh, Soviet systems. You know, you I got really? the old Soviet shirts with the logo. I got, you know, I, I incorporate the uh, the orange and the red. I mean, with the yellow and the red with the real gym logo. Because, you know, that, that that's, you know, I'm the black Russian. You know what I mean? I, I love everything about, you know, the, oh, the I just discipline that. and how they train. Yeah, yeah that's, you know, I had. Oh, God, I, I got to go take a look at that. How would I get to see that? Where do I got to go? You go to uh, realgym.com and then, uh, or, um, you know, uh, to my uh, clothing page, my right. Shopify. You can go, you can find it on Instagram. You find it on uh, Facebook. Just Real Gym, Two M's and Gym. And then you'll see it, you know. It'll be, yeah, you know, stuff in, uh, out of there. Yeah. What about any yeah. vitamins? Do you do any vitamins yet, too, or anything like that? Oh, you know, I've been um, taking the animal, you know, right. the multivitamin from oh, back in the day. I'm old school, you know. No, I don't like the newfangled like, stuff. Old, yeah, that's always an old standby, man. People love that. Now they made it into man, the, man, the animal has, has been good to me for thirty years. Yeah. Well, yeah. we gotta get animal over there to ABC Day one day. I gotta talk to those people because they're really good people. They make a great product. They support me. They support you. I want to get them down yeah, there. Good guys. A, we get a hell of a gym, Donnie. I, I'd love to show that off. Now we got we, we you know I always 
uh, prided myself on being the back cave. I never wanted to over market. I never wanted to, you know, be out there. I always wanted to lie in the cut. You know, that's why people, you know, they're looking at us now. They're like, who the hell are these guys? They know you. They don't know me. But know I'm you, a pupil I, of you. I know yeah. you from all over, man. All and, over, uh, you're a legend down there, what you do with the kids, man. Come on. And you, you know, but that's, you know, that's, you know, so, but now with the, with the way the world is, you know, I, we got to get out there. We got to get on the forefront of this thing right. and do our thing, you know, maximize everything. Because a lot of people don't know that you, you know, you squat stands. There's a lot of things that came out of the environment that, you know, I trained that I remember before there was a, you know, right. a, a, you know, that, you know, what people know today, you know, even though some of the stuff they're doing at West Side, you know, you were the guy that was, you know, the, the scientist, the mad scientist back then. I mean, you know, when did it, you know, it's way, way back, what, 85, 84. The thing they used to tease about, they always said, oh, I was looking for gimmicks. I wasn't looking for gimmicks. I always believe there's more than one way to do something. Just like there's one way, to, more than one way to do a curl. There's more than one way to do a squat. There's, and the conjugate method, when you do it and you switch things, people say to me all the time, they always feel fresh when they come out of there. Why? Because we're constantly changing. And when you constantly change, you have a chance to set new PRs. Like one day you use a magic bar. One day you use a, um, uh, just simply a bar that flexes or, you know, some kind of whippy bar. And then it just gives you like a whole new feel. And you have a chance to, every time you come out, set a new PR. So it's like setting records all the time. It, it's good for the ego and it's good for the mental state of uh, lifting. Right, right. I mean, it, it's pros and cons to everything. But yeah, for the most part, I dig it. And that's, you know, I came up under you. That, but I, I adapted over the years and I changed certain things um, that better suited me and how, you know, my, my philosophy on training. You know what I mean? Sometimes I felt like I had to stick to something a little longer so that I would, you know, improve a little bit. Sometimes too much variation for me would stagnate me, you know what I mean? But okay. when you're young, you grow from everything. You do yeah, anything and you grow. But the older I got, the more I had to specialize in what I was doing to uh, well, uh, continue to make gains. When I saw some of the things you got in your gym, man, how many people still have the old-fashioned vertical leg press like you got, man? I would kill for one of them. You, I saw you do oh, it the other day, man, and that yeah. must blow your thighs up, right? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a great piece. And even the hack squat I have, it's, it's, it's a great piece because, you know, nowadays it's, it's you know, in, in, in uh, the gyms you go now, it's like, you know, you're pushing this way. You know, they got, you know, plate loaders. They have uh, almost 2,000 pounds, you know, 1,500 pounds of plates on there. I'm like, you don't even have enough plates in the gym to facilitate everybody else with lifting when, they, you know, right. you got a big, strong guy in there pressing. But I'm like, how much do you squat? You, you squat 600, 700. And, and you're pressing, leg pressing 1,500 pounds, it just doesn't make sense to me. No, you know what I mean? Sense. This correlates to what you're squatting. You know what I mean? If you're leg pressing 600 on there, you, you should be squatting 600. If you're no, leg pressing yeah. 700, you should be, huh? No, no, yeah. keep going. I just got something. I, I can't help it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you if your leg press 700 on there, you, you, you're close to, you know, uh, you know you, you're in that range. You know what I mean? But press pressing 1,500, 2,000 pounds, you know, people sitting on it with the girlfriends taking pictures uh, while you're pushing. That's not, you know I mean, that's that's just ego. Donnie, what do you do for, because I mean, you, like the way you weigh, you pull so much weight in a deadlift. Do you do anything special for your core that's any different than anybody else? What, what, do, you, what do you do for your core workout generally? Well, um, I don't utilize the belt. I really, right. I just went right. back to straps. Um, you know, because I broke my hand in that football game, alumni football game. So uh, my grip suffered a little bit and it's, it's getting back. But um, uh, I never would use straps and I never would use a belt up until like maybe um, uh, my uh, last lift or the uh, last really? set. I try to make it up to 500 without a belt, man. That's usually where I go. But I'll tell you something, all the good Russians, they do the same thing you do. That's why they have those thick ass abs. That's why you right. probably, you know, your back is strong as hell too. Right, you know? Val Salva. You know what I mean, well, you're I don't right. Know if I say it right, well, you say it right. Yeah. What about do you ever do Good Mornings or anything like that? That's my favorite. I've done the heaviest Good Morning I've done is 455. Wow. But I still can do 405 for reps, and um, you know that's that's the staple in my in my uh, arsenal right there. And I'm I'm you know I'm a, I'm, really? a, I'm a back dominant guy. You know what I mean? I still do bent over rows 405. Um, you know, that, 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 that'll never leave my arsenal. You know what I mean? That's good. Good morning is a key. 
you know what I mean? Yeah. Actually, for Westside, for the longest time, they used to do seven out of ten workouts used to be uh, like a good morning. So you really, you must have found something there that really works. I, I just saw Dan Green rocking him. Uh, uh, I think his last post I saw on him, he was doing good mornings. I think he was doing with a, a, squ a squat bar, with a, um, a safety squat bar. I, I dig him a lot, man. Dan Green. Oh, he, um, is, yeah, he's, he is the consummate. Him and Sparkle are two of the nicest people. They're always good friends of mine. And they're, uh, they're incredible how much they give back to their community. Uh, he's just a loving people. guy, man. He is just, I mean, he's quiet. And then when, when you get humble, him, he's humble. He just he, he came. They did, you know. Animal brought him down. He did a photo shoot at the gym, and it was like, like I knew him all my life, man. He was just a good dude. I mean, a really good dude and a hell of a goddamn lifter. Holy moly, to see him in person, you know, during the shoot. I mean, he's rocking. He's I'm like, Whew. and the whole he's, thing is, he's, he's so honest. I mean, I've seen different people like when they have contests. You know, they say, okay, they weigh two twenty, man. Yeah, you know. They get him close to 220, but not real. He, he went on the scale right in front of me. Hey, Andre, he said, look at this. Just to show you. You know, it's like 220 pounds. You know, he went with that contest. You know, of course, he blows up when he puts some water in him. But right, right. Not, it's phenomenal. He's a, he's a man of character. You know, Dan, we love you out here, man. Yeah, we do. Definitely. The quality guy. I follow him all the time. He got me, actually got me doing hack squats again. I saw him doing hack squats because yep. I shot away from him a little bit. And I said, you know what, let me get back. If this is working for him, it better work for me. And, it, and it's been working. It's just, you know, I have to approach it a little different. You know, I, you know the way, the volume and the loads, you know, I just put it, I, I need to, you know, it, it definitely is a, a plus. It's been helping yeah. a, lot, a lot. The other guy that used to do a lot of uh, hack squats was a guy named Lee Moran. I don't know if you ever remember him. But Lee, Lee Moran was the first. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know he took it. a thousand pounds. He missed it the first time. The bar totally, the collars couldn't hold it, so it popped and it totally unloaded on him. And he came back wow. and got it again. Guy was wow. an incredible lifter, and his big lift that he would do is uh, hack squats. And Dan Green does front squats all the time in all his workouts. That's, so he that's did at least when, he, yeah. when he programmed some of my friends, that's what he used to do, a lot of that. Yeah, yeah. You know, for that start of the deadlift. Yeah, that's real, yeah exactly. Exactly. Yeah. People forget the quads. Uh, very important, especially in the conventional pull. So what, what are you doing now is, um, are you working any uh, football kids or anything or anything, young athletes now? I, I, I uh, this year, I didn't have any um, pro players that I dealt with. Uh, I had, you know, I was focusing on the gym a lot. You know, right. we had redone it and, you know, I was just doing a lot of youth classes and the, the uh, high school football teams I've been working with. I like the kids working with the kids because, you know, they're impressionable at that time and you can really point a kid in the right direction, similar to what you did. You know what I mean? You pulled me back there, you know, you put me on the right track. And this is a standing testament. That, huh? You know, I, that, that, was, that was everything. You know what I mean? That was a key point in my life. And, and that changed the trajectory of my life. You know what I mean? And uh, so I, I think it's our obligation, like my man, Larry Marshall, who's very, he's a big brother, incredible, uh, you know, Ooh. trainer and, uh, uh, you know, responsible for a ton of, for tons and tons of guys making it to where, the league. Where, where's he out of, uh, Donnie? Well, he's really from uh, Kentucky, but he's been up here forever. And uh, But he's responsible for Andrew Bynum, you know, Marshawn Brooks, Scotty Hobson, Bobby Mays, um, you know, uh, you know, uh, you name it, he's dealt with them. You know what I mean? Well, cool. I mean, he's worked with everybody. Yeah. He's, 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 he's an incredible guy. And, uh, you know, stand-up guy. What are the few? That's what we say about you, buddy, because I see what you do with kids. You're really good with them, my friend. But uh, what else can we talk about? Anything else new, Donnie, with you? No, I just, you know, um, you know I, I'm really impressed with the numbers that these kids are doing nowadays. I mean, you got kids 163 pounds pulling 700. Oh I mean, God. that was unheard of, you know, you know. It, you know, and I know a lot is, you know, you know, the unspoken thing a lot, you know, a lot of kids are messing with these drugs and stuff, but, um, you know, it, it is what it is, you know, in every, in every sport there's, you right. know, it's a drug element, you know what I mean? But to still be able to move that type of weight, even, you know, drug assisted is, is incredible. It you is know, incredible. It's, yeah. yeah. Well, it's a lot. Oh, hell yeah, man. I can't. 
I don't see how you move what you move. You know, I, I'm, it gives me something to shoot after. <laughs> I can shoot all I want, man, but it's, uh, you're going to have to teach me. But the other thing I want to talk about is like uh, every week we should pick up, you know, we talked a little bit of this week about the deadlift. Next week we talk, maybe talk about the squat. And yeah. I'm curious what you do with the bench because you brought yourself back so many times and you bench a ton of weight. So it's good. So we could talk about that maybe next time if people can. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Or is there is there an um, email these people can contact us at to give us some suggestions for uh, things we can talk about? Well, Thanks they can for... reach out to us at uh, Real Gym. That's two M's and Gym one at yahoo.com. Mm-hmm. Um, they can reach to us at Instagram, you know, Real Gym two M's and Gym. They can message us there. Facebook the same thing, Real Gym two M's and Gym. Um, um, Twitter, you can reach us anywhere. And, uh, you know, shoot us some questions and we'll be uh, more, more than happy to oblige you. Yeah. I love that because that's a good, that's going to give us more information to, to talk to people about and really stuff they want to hear about. So yeah. I think that's going to work out fantastic. Yeah, so, definitely. Uh, all right. You want to just about close it for the day today? I think we. Yeah, yeah. yeah we covered a lot. Yeah. It's always good seeing you. I can't wait till this thing opens up so we can get together and train. Um, you know, I see, oh, yeah, I just want to give a shout-out to your man, Eddie. He's killing it over there. Uh, OC, uh, Big O, you know, Fonz, and, uh, you know, East Coast Iron. You got, um, uh, you know, uh, Killy Krills over there, uh, Savage City Strength. You know, I, I just like to shout those kids out, um, Gary of Fitness City, because, you know, um, if you got memberships with them, please keep, you know, paying. I, I'm definitely uh, I'm sure that they'll, uh, you know, um, uh, give you, you know, memberships forward, you know, because, you know, that's the the lifeline, you know what I mean? It's when mom and pops, you know, we're standing alone, you know, and every dime counts, you know, especially in this time, you know what I mean? Especially with our little hardcore gyms, we know the right. people that we know, you yeah. know what I mean? When, when we talk about every, everybody, you talked, um, we're talking about Sean Parisi at his place over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's or my buddy Jeff Bodine in, uh, in Perth Amboy, you know, just keeping hardcore, not losing not losing the heart, but just wants to keep it open. You know what I mean? It's that's the heartbeat of the community. You know, yeah. believe it or not, that's, you know, you know, Fitness City, I mean, um, uh, Planet Fitness has no fucking identity. LA mm-hmm. Fitness, they don't give a damn about us. They have no identity. They no, they're not a person, they're a corporation. So it doesn't matter to them. You know what I mean? To us, you know, we're, we're you know, we're invested in the kids in our community. You know what I mean? We're invested with the people that come through the door. You know what I mean? Your neighbor, your friend, you know, your fellow, uh, you know, person in the community, you know, you're one of them. So it's a big difference. So, you know, even um, support the small restaurants. I just had uh, Lenora's Cafe deliver uh, incredible, uh, you know, t- um, uh, pork tacos, you know, you know, we got to keep these small businesses, uh, you know, in business, you know what I mean? Especially at this time, support your local, you know what I mean? Forget the big box and, you know, they, they gave the stimulus money to all the big boys and I get it because they employ a lot, but, you know, it's down here, you know, we, if we're we hurting, you know? Yeah, we are. But, uh, Donnie, again, it's just a pleasure talking with you and I'm so happy after all the years we got back together. And I just love to take it to the top. All right, my yeah. brother. Listen, All right. Just like just like your shirt says, go to a real gym, man. Because that's where it's at. And his his moniker for his gym, real gym, it just says it all. A skiba gym, you know, I'll never be a fitness center or nothing like that. You know why? Because nah, I like nah. the I just like the I just like to move weight, just like Donnie does. That's all there is to right. it. That's what does it. That's for why you've been here for so long. That's what it's all right. about. That's right. All right, my dear brother. Thank you to Sky and Christine. Anybody else involved in, in putting this Jared, in the yeah. Okay. Yeah, and uh, again to you, Donnie. Thank you for bringing this together and making us do it. And we'll talk to you right, next cool. week. All right, my brother. All right, everybody stay safe. Keep your mask on. Keep your gloves on. Wash your hands every time you come in the house. Everything will wipe down everything and, and be safe until they find a cure for this thing or, you know, a vaccine. You know, be smart. Don't be stupid. Don't uh, underestimate it. You know what I mean? The whole world is shut down for a reason. You know what I mean? But we don't want to be go the way of the dinosaur. I mean, hey, Donnie, when this, is all, when this is all done, they open the schools up. You and I should go to some of the schools and talk. I'm telling you oh, right definitely. now. Let's do it. All right? All right. That's okay. another idea. That's the future. All right. All right, my We'll brother. see you guys next week. Same bat time, same bat channel. Sounds all good right. to me. All right. Bye-bye. Peace. Peace.